Sure, so uh, um, it is now Erica's uh, menu and uh, for Tuesday night the 15th um, and we are doing a round the world tour of uh, different flavors uh, from Portuguese prawns to um, some Mexican beefy something I can't even pronounce I don't even know what it actually is uh, and I suppose we're not really allowed to google it we've got to just kind of guess what it is um and the dessert wow so looking forward to it i don't know if uh, i believe that she hasn't made a chocolate mousse before so i think that this is going to be uh, something completely different and new and exciting so uh, i'm really looking forward to to the time and uh, and it's a dress up the theme is uh, you got to dress like your favorite uh, country um so I think at the, at, by the time I've finished eating all of this food, I, I can pretty much put my, myself down as uh, uh, one of the ladies from Mexico, you know, not Mexico, what's it, uh, Texas, you know, isn't it the biggest state or something? So yeah, you have to roll me out of there, so I'm super excited about this. So best of luck, my love, and uh, let's see what you can do. Are you really, Googles are like putting it so hard on the guys. Uh, um, so hopefully, uh, hope, hopefully Andre's got something up his sleeve uh, that's going to top this, but just see, seems to be getting better and better and better. So best of luck, my love, and I look forward to it. I love that menu. Um, I love the whole invite and how every meal is from a different country. I'm super excited for the main. Love Mexican food. So that's a real winner for me. And yeah, I thought it was all really well done. I'm excited for the night to see everybody's outfits. So. Erica really accepted the challenge and um, it's going to be awesome. I'm really So wondering. combine with me with Erica. Let's see. Always wondered, could she really actually, actually cook? Uh, the prunes thing, I'm going to love it. I, you've got to be, I totally, totally have it on point. But let's see. Mexican, mm, Megan and I, we know our speciality. We really, really love our Mexican food. Well, let's see. Let's see how it goes. Hi guys, so I'm here at Pick and Pay buying my groceries for the round the world dinner. Um, getting some fresh fruits over there for my dessert. And yeah, just looking forward to this exciting event. And um, I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Uh, so let the fun begin. The last few ingredients for our round the world dinner on Tuesday. Um, and yeah, then let's let the eating begin. Hello. So as you can see, I have started preparing for your around the world dinner for tomorrow night. And I'm enjoying a little bit of vino. So yeah, so it's all happening. It's all happening in my little kitchen. And uh, well, the proof is in the pudding, as they say. Huh. So, as you can see, I've started preparing for our Around the World dinner for tomorrow night. Um, in my tiny little kitchen. Oh, over there, and over there. And uh, enjoying a little bit of vino while I'm preparing. And yeah, so. Hope you guys are hungry and excited. Yay! No. <laughs> uh, dessert is done. 
Uh, mines are just about ready to go in the oven when you arrive. And then stuff as I'll make when you get there. So you better damn well be hungry. That's all I'm saying. One more hour until Erica's dinner. I just need to finish getting ready, do my makeup, and then my outfit's good to go. Yeah, I actually think I might be late because the guy that I cooperate with is always late. But I just know it's going to be a great night, so can't wait to get there. Can't wait for those enchiladas. Yeah. Mm hmm. You ready? Yep. You sure? Yep. My outfit my really broke. <laughs> is this going to take long? It is. You ready? Yep. Hello, senor. My mustache really broke it off, but I'm so happy to be here. Here's your mama. Hello, mama. But my mustache broke. Brilliant. Andre, what did you dress like? I came, oh, I, I came as a college. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're about to start our first game this evening. So this is homemade Play-Doh. Mm. So you each get a piece of blue, well it's basically blue and pink. And then you have to make a famous landmark anywhere in the world. Hmm. Sure. Okay. Any famous landmark that you know. Anywhere in the world. Cool. The statue of David's penis. And the winner wins a prize. Ha! And the winner wins a prize. All right. Winner wins a prize. Yeah. I only show When does this have to be in by? By the end of the night. No, it's quick. No. This is this is happening before before mine. Okay, so we have got how long? How long is mine? Till mine. So small. Five minutes. Five minutes, okay. We have five minutes, people. All right. Now, I don't want to show you. We will be back. So, my uh, guests are thinking really hard about a famous landmark somewhere across the world that they are building out of kids' play dough. Cannot wait to see the results. Nothing naughty, eh? Keep it clean, guys. Keep it clean. Go, go. go. The blue represents the ocean. Uh, the pink represents buildings at different heights and different architecture. Uh, the blue over here represents a raw mountain. And we have a cross on time with, you know, with our father standing open eye. And okay, but now your question was, that do was something that's a famous landmark of a country. That is. Isn't that the... So which country are you referring to? Come on guys, you scan guesses. It's... It's South America. It's uh... Oh my god. You guys... Rio de Janeiro. There we go. Oh! I told you! I told you! Oh, you're not entertained! I am this is Brazil! I told you! I told you it's... Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Can I guess Terence's one? Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, but I know what it is. Come, Megan, what's your one? That, that's a pyramid. Must be a pyramid. Pyramid. Yeah, the great pyramid of Giza. Of Giza. Loving, Lovely. Loving the pyramid. Loving the Giza. 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 Pyramid. Okay, all right. I love it, this Giza. Okay. Hey, hey, gringo. What? Okay, what? So. You've got Italy. You got How a, did you know? Yes. You've got a penis there with the statue of David. Huh? No. Doesn't he have a penis thing there? No. The Grand Canyon. No, it's Italy. There's a shoe. It's a shoe. Leaning Tower of yes. Pisa. Well done. Yes. Yes. I mean, it's the Leaning Tower of Pisa with the Colosseum in Italy. So wow. we're heading uh, into round two of our gaming. In our apron. <laughs> oh well, you know. So, there's a map of the US, United States of uh, America over there, just to give you some indication and some clues. So, I'm going to ask 
10 questions of famous landmarks in the US. Only and you them. have to tell me in which state it is. So I'll tell you the landmark and you write down number one. So we're going we're gonna to have our third the one. The best paper airplane that goes the furthest or soars by the oh, so ever can fly the airplane the furthest. No, no, no. no. Like if it, if it, I mean, it's small in here, but if it, if it like glides, I'm looking for gliding. So Gliding. Is it a circular motion? Uh, uh, so, yeah. making paper airplanes. Not Qatar Airways because it'll crash or not take or off or be delayed. What, what's on your face? There's an animal on your face over there. What? <laughs> what are those? <laughs> what is it's a hairy mole. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> sure. My eyebrows are like falling off my face and Where's your Hawaii hula hula? Hey Andre, where's your hula hula? Put it on. Hula hula. That's uh, I don't know how to do this. Do it, do it. How many chances do we get? You only one. get one chance. Oh, I remember that one. Tata Matan. Go. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, epic. Uh, epic. No, no, said I had, like, okay, now uh, I'm an art. Ooh, oh, that one does a flippy thing. Mm. Mm. Uh, like Interesting. This. Is this gonna take long? To taste all. Hola, amigo Scheinberg. Amigo. Am Hola, Scheinberg. Hola. How would you like it to go? Do you want it to go left? I, right? We just want it to go. Straight so. Oh, we're going straight? Yeah. yeah. Well, nobody said that. I would have changed the way Erica yeah. design. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just throw? <laughs> oh, oh, cool. There's really? Really? Oh, like it. Really? Eat this motherfucker. Stuck a moon. Ha. How far do you want to go? It's a spaceship. Hey, hola, it's, amigo. It's a frisbee. Okay, do so I need to beat that one? Yep. Yeah. Oh. And go. Ooh. Oh, my God. Mm. Very nice. It even hit the door. So give the scoring out there, please. Yeah. All right, okay. We don't have to read the scores hey, hey. out. We don't have we don't to read the scores no. out. No, I'm just going to go. Minus Minus the winner. Are you ready? Yeah, we get the loser. And no, third place. Fourth place. Fourth place. Oh, and in fourth place. Or third. Erica. And it's me. <laughs> and in third place, we have. Megan. Andre. <laughs> knowing his state. Yo. Not knowing it. <laughs> me? Really? Yo. And in second place, we have. Megan with a close second. Speech, close speech. Place. Well, you got more than 50% made, so I'm very impressed that you lived in the States. Thanks. And T-Bag with a close first. I this think, guy. I think that guy. This Mexican. Really, because he wrote down so many abbreviations that I had to be one of the fucking things. <laughs> so for my uh, Mexican. One of the beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Uga chaka, uga chaka. I like to thank my mom and my dad who took me overseas. This landmark sculpture goes to Andre. Yeah. I think she's something that we think. And he wants, he wants to thank Spark for his background yeah. in design. Yeah. Nobody stinks. Sure. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> How do we do this now? Take that. Yo. Sure. So I'd like to thank Radox for a balanced and nutritious lifestyle. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that really is Sure. Okay, go. Okay, so the best dressed for the evening. Oh, this was such a tight spot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the evening Megan, Megan. Oh, I'm trying. Oh, I'm trying. Yes! Yeah! Happy best dress, my friend! Oh. I hope you see.
think not be with you. Oh, oh yes. Very much. Yes, yes. And then, Big guns, eh? <laughs> Should we take a photo? Stop. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Stop, <laughs> drop, and roll. That's a good one. That's a good one. And so, the score for the best aeroplane and states traveler goes to Terra! Oh. We, are, we are here, and this is our starters at so uh, Erika's place. Rosen Beak. Uh, yeah, so Island Vibes, hot peri peri Yum, corn, um, yummy, marinated yummy. in some chili and garlic, mm. and lemon juice. So, bon appetit. Oh, sure. <laughs> I have no idea. Just had a start of Erica's first three course meal uh, prawns. I love that. If you even know me, I love prawns and she does cook. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, she's gonna be a tough contender if it keeps up like this. What? April away, looking to the rest. The starter was amazing. Can't fault her at all. The prawns are cooked perfectly. There was just enough spice. Love the whole lemon and garlic. It was absolutely divine. Love it. Sure. So we just had the starter, and uh, <clears throat> it was very, very nice, but. That spice, Ooh. my mouth is like on fire, absolute fire, but very, very nice. I enjoyed the thing. The prawns were very, very well cooked. I uh, had them with a uh, bit of bread, ended up actually dipping like uh, extra bread, I know, terrible calorie, calories, into the thing, but it was actually worth it. But yeah, the mouth is st starting to come uh, come right now, um, so best of luck for the morning, yeah. So this is our main course meal over here. Let me just take a photo of that. Oh, sorry, let me just go, but because there's a lot more than meets the eye. <laughs> so baby, tell us what this is. These are um, Mexican beef enchiladas with sour cream and guacamole. And I made a uh, Mexican bean and mango salsa and salad something or another. Mm. So, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sure, sure. As the night progresses, that was fantastic. What the hell? So, whew, that was a lot of food. Very, very nice. Very burny. <laughs> My mouth was on fire. Ah. <laughs> yeah. So, I do hope that that's not going to hurt me tomorrow. Um, funny how I dress up like a Mexican. Mexican! But I can't take the Mexican food as hot as that. Wow! Love the salad. The salad was quite nice. It like toned it down because it was like mango and stuff like that. That was very, very nice. Overall, fantastic. Love the presentation. Love the food. Love the, the taste. Nice burn to it. But uh, we'll see if my body appreciates it as much as what my uh, taste buds did. <laughs> so I was just at Erika's main course. Uh, I thought it was awesome. Very, very well prepared. Well done. Presentation of it. I think more effort could have been put into it. Uh, taste on point, a bit, a bit bland for my liking, but overall, like I said, I like it. Mexican. Mm -hmm. The main was a winner for me. I am sold. It was great. Um, the enchiladas were exactly how I imagined them to be. It was spicy. There was sour cream, avo, chilies, everything. It was perfect. Really, I couldn't have imagined a better man. She did great. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, okay. So we got a duo of chocolate mousse. It uh, didn't come out quite the chocolatey brown that I wanted to, but that is dark chocolate and that is white chocolate. Mm. Which white chocolate is, it? is very aerated. The moose comes from the US because the animal moose comes from the US. <laughs> <laughs> no, and that's how I make my mother's from the US. Moose. Is moose a lacquer? <laughs> okay. 
I couldn't relate it to anything else. I was like, hey, where does a moose come from? Yo, moose are like a moose. So I just had Erika's dessert. Uh, I loved it. It was awesome. It was exactly what I wanted in the dessert. A bit sweet, but hey, I loved it, man. It was cool. It was funky. No, it is a bit light. I, I felt it. It was good. I enjoyed the dessert. It was nice. Um, loved the whole marshmallow, fluffy texture. It was really good. Uh, it was a bit sweet, but the blueberries cancelled that out. So all in all, it was a really nice dessert. Sure. Wow. Whew. Now, of course, now we had the dessert, and that thing was super sweet. Oh, loved the, the 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 way it was done. It was super fluffy. It was. Um, enjoyable, I enjoy the blueberries, the blueberries just kind of made that little pop, you know, that extra crunch inside the mousse. I've never been like a mousse man, um, you know, but I found that, that it was really awesome. I couldn't fault it. Absolutely amazing. Well done, woman. Super, super awesome. So it's the end of the evening. Um, I think it went very well. Uh, especially judging by the plates that were licked clean, practically, and the boys who thought that they could finish two enchiladas, and then they were struggling a bit, and then they were like, oh, I don't have space for dessert, and then, you know, that was also, like, polished. So, I think they had a great time. I had a great time. I am... Um, completely overwhelmed by how amazingly it went so let's hope they score accordingly and uh, let's hope that most importantly that they enjoyed themselves so yay